Hello everyone, my name is Monika Kuszyńska and I'm a Polish representative of Eurovision Song Contest 2015 in Vienna. I really hope you will enjoy my song in the name of love. I'm very excited and happy to be with you. See you in Vienna. Nine years ago, my life was turned upside down. While returning from one of my concerts, the car I was in with a team crashed into a tree. It was a miracle that I survived. The diagnosis was terrible. Injured spinal cord, lower body paralysis and a wheelchair. It went without saying, end of my career. At the time, I was a singer in a well-known and respected group in Poland. We had recorded four albums together and for several years had toured the country performing huge numbers of concerts. I was also a beautiful young woman and life was open to me until that terrible day that I felt everything was over. There was no future for me. I spent long months in a hospital. I had several surgeries that unfortunately didn't restore the power to my legs. I was devastated. I stepped away from the music world to undergo intensive rehabilitation. Several years passed when I came to terms with the reality of my condition. However, I didn't believe for a long time that I would ever return to the stage. But I started to miss my passion, singing. At the same time though, I got lots of messages and phone calls from my friends and fans saying that they really wanted me to come back on stage. <laughs> But I was afraid of a public reaction, that they might not accept my new wheelchair image. Because even I couldn't accept it for a long time. On the other hand, I really craved singing, performing and being with fans. So I decided to conquer my fear and do my first show after many years. It was an amazing experience. The audience was spectacular, so friendly and welcome. I felt great support and kindness. For many of them, my attitude was a symbol of a great strength. It's been a few years since then. I've recorded my solo album, Survivor. I perform regularly. My audience is becoming bigger and bigger. I also married a talented musician and we create songs together and I'm really happy. My experiences have rebuilt me. I am a strong woman now who understands the value of life. Through my music I'm trying to bring hope back to the people, to tell them that everything is possible, that you can overcome every life obstacle and start again. I encourage them to be brave, to fight for the dreams. Life is a gift and it's pointless to waste our valuable time.
A few months ago, I had no idea that fate would take me to the Eurovision Song Contest. It's a big challenge, but also a privilege. I hope that you will like my song and the name of love. I am very pleased to be going to Vienna. It's worth to fight for your dreams. If I can do it, you can also do it. See you in Vienna. I think that every people who go there and participate in a contest like that um, think and dream about the, uh, the winning, it's obvious. But for me, the purpose uh, is much more important. I mean, this bigger context that I can show people that even if you sometimes feel um, bad with yourself, even if you feel weak and unworthy, different, uh, you always can change your life and follow your dreams and this is worth to do it because this is your life and this is my message which I want to share with the people. My song, In the Name of Love, uh, was um, created especially, dedicated especially to this uh, contest. And um, we didn't actually think how to do it um, to please someone, let's say. We, uh, we create the songs uh, the same way. I mean, we. Uh, it's me and my husband, Kuba Raczyński, who is a composer of the song. We always create the same way. We just um, base on our feelings and what is inside. And what I want to add that um, this uh, uh, motto of, of a Eurovision, uh, building bridges, was inspiring to me. Uh, in writing uh, the lyrics. Um, so I would like to say uh, in this song that we can build the bridge beyond the fear because uh, the fear is something that block, uh, blocks us the most and we can just basically do it with love. Of course that singing while sitting is completely different than uh, when you in a regular position or when you're standing up. But uh, I think that if you really love to do something and uh, really want to do it, you will find a way, your own unique way to, to cope with that. So did I um, right now. I don't care if I stand up or sit down. It's my music, my feelings and my audience. <laughs>